How's it going everybody? Today I'll be installing a Euro Country mesh grill on my 2015 Toyota Tundra and uh, kind of giving you guys feedback on what it looks like and how easy it was to install. It comes with this book here that kind of goes through step by step what you need and all the parts that come with it. So I'm going to go ahead and remove mine, install this one. I want you guys know how everything goes. Tips you might need for installing your own. Right, here's the grill. We'll be installing. That's my thunder. So first thing is you're gonna be pulling all this out. Your screws up here, and then a clip on the side. And then it should just pop out from there. So we're gonna take this out. Get this one ready to go in. And do you guys update when I get there? All right, you're gonna pop the grill out. There's clips here on the bottom that kind of hold it in. This is the bottom, I got it upside down. You're gonna pop this, your grill out in the front and then there's screws on the side that you gotta take out. And you gotta take off this inner part, these retainer clips here. And then once we get that done, you're going to put on to the new grill. I'll give you guys an update. Okay. And then once you get the bottom piece, it goes on the bottom. Besides about your lights. Off, it's going to come off with these clips. All right. So I have all my bolts and nuts separated. There's these smaller ones. There's a little bit of a size difference. You can see. A little bit of a size difference. The smaller ones will go around the edge where there's no bracket. Those brackets right here. And the longer ones will go in where there's a bracket. So basically to figure out where the brackets go, I'm just looking at the picture they provided me. The two in the middle are put in, bracket. Two smaller ones and then the longer one for the brackets. And then you'll and install all that and the next step is drilling holes in the grill shell to be able to attach the mesh grill to this as one piece so we'll go ahead and take care of that all right so i followed the picture i'll get the bolt I already tighten these up because it says not to but really it, they're so they line up so well that it's not going to move enough to make a difference in the end so i just went ahead and tightened these up then I put the brackets on, and the brackets on top, and those four top ones will go in to this piece up here, these holes on this piece. And these holes back here will line up with your original screws that went in to hold the top piece down of your original grill. And then these bottom pieces, something it, it goes over, but it doesn't show pictures well enough. You have to measure out the middle of your grill. Then you have this flat spot here. You're gonna drill your hole here. You have to measure out the, the middle part of your grill and kind of drill in the middle. I just measured, because these, these are the same length from here to here on each side. So I just measured from this one to this one and then found the middle, which is roughly right there. But if you look on the picture, it looks roughly where the spot is. You're gonna drill this hole. Once this is drilled, you're gonna go ahead and take your outer shell on, put it up to the bottom in here, put your screw in, and then once that screw in and it's kind of holding it together, you can line up your other ones, mark them and drill them. And then you'll drill one hole for each bracket on the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Then we will come back after I get that done. And as a reminder, these small little bolts, these locking nuts on them, there's nine of these. They're nine brackets. So the holes you drill is what the smaller bolts are gonna go into to secure it to the outer shell. Okay, I got that placed in there. The two extra bolts you have that go with the brackets, go in these corner brackets that go on your shell. That's how the top part of the shell's placed in. You pop the bottom back in. Tighten it down, pulls the top part, and then this rough country 
and gray part goes at the top. You place your original screws back in, that one on your original grill. Place them back in there, and then your last four smaller bolts will go in there. And you gotta kind of adjust it with the top to line this corner up because as you can see, I tried to line it up, but with this side like this, this side is basically scraping. It's a little off, but you can kind of adjust how far in and out it comes out with this. You'll make it even. And then once I got that put on there, we'll get a finished result. See how she looks. Okay, final update, she's all on. Uh, she looks pretty good. The, uh, the, the parts from Rough Country are the solid metal. Um, I put this right when I got this truck on, um, the bull bar and from them, and it was pretty easy to install, pretty solid. Not expensive either, very affordable if you wanna like upgrade your truck with like decent parts, nothing crazy. I think this was too, I mean with shipping, it was like 228, which was pretty cheap. Um, and it really wasn't that hard to install. All the parts were pretty unison, all the brackets, none of them were out of shape the grill there was no scratches or dings on it and they put this foam stuff and then they really take care of their uh the stuff they send you so i would say overall pretty good it didn't take too long to install and it was easy the instructions i would say they should probably go a little more in depth with their instructions and color the pictures are black and white so some of the photos obviously that's a light bar but some of their photos, everything kind of blends in and you don't kind of know which way things are facing or what, like how they look. But um, overall, I like it. I'm gonna be getting some more rough country view in the future. Uh, I'm putting on, taking you guys along with me. But yeah, she looks good. We'll make sure you don't leave any tools in your truck. The thing's tight. There she is. Looks good. Smooth, matte black finish. Compliments everything well. But thanks for coming along. Hope this helps somebody out because I know there wasn't any really videos about putting these together or putting these on. They just had videos about what it looked like on the Rough Country YouTube channel. But now you kind of have a video on what to go off of, I guess. Learn from my mistakes. But it looks good overall. Everything was good. Uh, yeah, go ahead and like the video, subscribe, and uh, I'll be bringing you more videos in the future. Everybody have a good day. Appreciate it, guys.